right by. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy SBX. And this video topic that I really have to talk about, and it's really heartbreaking for me to rant about this per this right here. I'm going to talk about Hulk Hogan's scandal and how the hell and why the hell did he say nigga on, on social media. You know what I'm saying? And things that I saw. Let me go ahead and get it started. As much as... It right hits me right in the childhood. I have to do this. It's not because I just like to talk shit. You know, I always, you know, spit facts about real shit. That's how I am as a real nigga. So anyways, I'm really I'm really surprised and disappointed how Hulk Hogan actually said nigga and referring it to one his daughter Brooke Hogan's billion dollar boyfriend who is also an African American which he's a nigga but you know what I'm saying not only that well, since that word since he said nigga Hulk Hogan lost his career his reputation is down the fucking toilet man it's like everything is all just been fucking dismissed you know what I'm saying can't sell his merchandises no more. WWE refused to even sell his merchandises. He can't be on tough enough anymore. It's like he just banning this dude like he's Chris Benoit or something. I know I keep saying Chris Benoit this and Chris Benoit that on my other videos, but god damn it. It's like you know how WWE is. But I can understand his point. I can understand on both cases. Yes, Hulk Hogan did and said something that was really fucked up, but goddamn, man. I mean, you know, as a black guy, yes, it really is offensive how white people call somebody a nigga. But come on, you know what I'm saying? I grew up watching Hulk Hogan. You know what I'm saying? Back in the WWF days, like the golden era and WCW when he was part of the um nwo you know what i'm saying like god damn you know what i'm saying that that hits me right in the motherfucking childhood yo and i wanted to meet hulk hogan now i feel like you know it goes to show it's like sometimes there is a fair warning to never meet your heroes you know what i'm saying this is this guy is an iconic hero this guy been around since the late 70s and the early 80s and the 90s and so on, you know what I'm saying? Between WWF or WWE now, uh, WCW and TNA, this dude is a fucking legend, man. And ever since he said that one word and use it towards a negative aspect on a person, in in total, you know, in total ignorance, it makes his reputation and his legacy all just. You know, destroyed. He this he did it to himself. You know what I'm saying? Now that's like that's like that's kind of like that Paula Dean type of shit. You know what I'm saying? See that that's 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 the thing. I get the fact that today's society, you know, we you want we want people to respect people without using any type of racial slurs or you know what I'm saying and offend any other ethnic around the world. You know, black white latino asian the list goes on you know what i'm saying and to me that's like you know a simple lawsuit will do but who who the fuck will sue somebody just because they call somebody a nigga you know what i'm saying but you know when you at when you any work pro any workforce you you gotta respect people you know what i'm saying you can't you know you gotta watch out what you gotta say you can't call nobody out their names that's how your ass get fired. You know what I'm saying? But I get, I understand behind closed doors. This guy admits that on the radio station that he say nigga all the time. And not only that, he did a sex pic, a sex tape back in 2008 and said it to a woman he was having sex with who was black. You know what I'm saying? And it's fucked up how icons are just committing, you know, career suicide like Bill Cosby. Joe put it in an ass, for example. You know what I'm saying? Raping these females. 
Now Hulk Hogan is fucking up his legacy. Like, goddamn. Who's next? Oprah? What's next? Oprah? Or, or, or motherfucking... You know what I'm saying? Like, the Pope? Or somebody who's gonna go up for another scandal? Jerry Springer? Mari Povich? Somebody like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn. Let's just go to show that... You know, even if you're at your best and you and then you're all the way from stardom and fame and shit like that, and you just are careless and don't give a shit about nobody's feelings, it goes to show that when you when you have fortune and fame, you turn into an asshole and just really don't give a fuck. You just feel like power is everything to you, but you don't understand that once you do something wrong, one slight small teeny weeny mistake will jeopardize your fucking life your career your legacy and your self respect and and, and and how people view you you know what I'm saying and, and I'm really disappointed how Hulk Hogan did it to everybody including the whole black race who are you know his fans who are black people as well and other ethnics around the world you know what I'm saying and that's like, like to me I understand that WWE had to do what it got to do, and most of the times I'm not even going to always, you know, be on anything that is on WWE side. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's hard for me to to you know elaborate to explain how I feel. You know what I'm saying? That just hit me right in the goddamn childhood. That's like Hulk Hogan just slapped the shit out of you and just spit at you and call you a nigger. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me tell you something, nigger. The hoaxer do not give a shit. You know what I'm saying? And, then, and that's the thing. That's like, he, he just bombed Hulkamania. You know what I'm saying? He killed a whole bunch of Hulkamaniacs and just bombed that shit. He used the N-word bomb and just really destroyed Hulkamania. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is fucked up. I mean, I'm very, like I said, I'm very disappointed how he did this. It's not because of that word. It's just because he made an ass out of himself on, you know, on the radio and the sex tapes and disrespecting his daughter, Brooke Hogan, his boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, this is not the, this is not the, um, fucking... 1960s or the 50s, the 40s, the 30s, or so on. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and it goes to show that again, racism is still alive and well, but it just have a different flamboyant um style. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even flamboyant, but it's just that people are just don't know how racist they are until somebody say it and expose them. You know what I'm saying? And it's like white people are just trying to not say nigga all the time and don't even say the word at all. But even if you say to somebody, they're gonna eventually gonna be caught. That's how it is, you know what I'm saying? And and saying nigga, everybody's gonna say nigga until the day they die. The N word, nigga, it's gonna still be on people's vocabulary. Everybody going to still stay nigga. You just can't say nigga at places where people feel disrespected. In the wrong environment. To the wrong type of people to say. You know what I'm saying? Respect people. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit that some black guy called you nigga. And you feel like it's okay to say nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, you say that sh- that's not you. But obviously, you expose yourself to say this is what you really are, Hulk. Terry Balea. This is who you are. So, anyways, people, I'm done ranting here. It's just like it hurts me in the childhood. And I have to go there. And I have to expose to this shit and rant about the hoaxer. So, anyways, um, let me know what y'all think. Comment, like, and subscribe. SBX wrapping this shit up. Thanks for watching. Peace the fuck out.